Next picture is uh, the Audi TT S line competition facelift. And uh, I'm doing the first uh, pencil sketches right now. And um, to be honest, this time uh, I only had to reevaluate uh, the proportions only one time. So uh, when you follow the older videos, I um, told you that uh, when I uh, try to draw something that I see, I uh, just use my eye to get a sense of the proportions, then I take a picture of it and within Photoshop I overlay those two things to see if I'm correct or not. And um, this time I only had to correct it once. This is this training effect, effect and it gives you confidence but this, what, what the confidence results in is uh, that you also, uh, you are not trying uh, to, to make a perfect copy of it. You're not to trying to, to photocopy it, you're making your own drawing. So uh, if you now take a picture of this drawing and overlay it with the actual photo, I'm sure you still will find something. But you got so much uh, confidence uh, with your drawing that you just tell yourself this is your own version of this this car and it still looks terrific so um i'm done with my sketches and now i'm using the tombow brush pens to block in the colors and as you can see um it's it's water based and uh they the colors should blend into each other but um you see the single strokes when uh, you're not directly filling out the whole area. So I was trying my next step to to make it like blend into each other. I used water with uh, um, this this tool um, with a paintbrush, and I didn't like it because the color wasn't even. It was like cloudy. So I used now watercolor. To block in the the uh, the uh, colors, and this made me a little bit more quiet about the the uh, overall appearance of the picture. But what I have now is that I have like a lot of layers already before I even started making details, and this kind of. Um, left me struggling uh, how to uh, create the, the right shading and um, let's like just look into the um, rear bumper there on the on the left side uh, under the the square which uh, is on the on, under the white square under the uh, tail light and you can see that uh, sometimes the uh, colored pencils were scratching off the watercolor uh, and uh, it even made it harder uh, to to make details there. But uh, I decided to to um, keep going because I thought maybe it creates a nice effect, um, and we'll see in the end how it will look. Uh, the overall painting is a mixture then uh, with watercolor, tumbo brush pens, colored pencils, and a normal pencil. So a lot of different media is, is used here. And I'm still in this experimental um, phase to find out what, what works best. Uh, the next time I will do a, a painting like this uh, will be that I only use watercolor, wait until it's dry, and then uh, I will um, use the, the colored uh, pencils above it. Um, I um, like when we're talking about tumbo brush pens, which are uh, water-based, watercolor, which is water-based. You really need a thick paper, uh, which is able to suck in the whole water without getting wavy. And uh, in the material section, you will see uh, what kind of paper I used. Uh, and I'm very happy about the quality of this paper and it didn't move a millimeter so it's really nice right now i am um like my aim because you you have the red shiny headlights and um the the eye of the observer is directly uh, direct to this tail lights and um 
so so I wanted to to put as much effort in it as possible uh, and uh, to make it look as detailed as possible. So first I was blocking in by very very slightly uh, using the colored red pencil and uh, applying a little bit of water over it. I was uh, creating the base color. Then I was only using uh, like a lot of the uh, red pencil to uh, with different pressure you create different shades of red. Uh, adding some black to it uh, to the to the outlining and so on uh, gave it a really nice look. And in the end, uh, shortly before I finish the painting, I will add some white highlights, but you will see later. Now I am uh, giving the car a little bit more shape to make it look more three-dimensional. There you see, I couldn't, uh, this, this part where the black hole is, I couldn't um, make some details with, with dark color anymore. This was one lesson learned, of course. Here I had to be very careful because I wanted to blend it in and uh, when uh, water was coming onto the black spoiler it made the black of the tumbo brush pens again blend into the rear window. Some further details. Now I am going to the, to the wheel and uh, making the exhaust pipe for some some details of the license plate of course yeah I mean you can put infinite amount of effort into details Here you have the profile of the wheels there there you have some reflections of the rear bumper and again, I wanted to make it like really with a high contrast to the rest. So I was using again those very nice tumble brush pens with um, black color. Just observe how the reflections, uh, the light is playing with the, with the surface. And you have some sort of a, a pattern in this part of the car where I was using just white like leaving space for a white color and adding some shades of gray and uh, I'm almost done just adding some more color for the wheels to make them look more realistic and that's basically it I hope you enjoyed see you in the next one